Hey, see what's up, me? Identified the victim as Siva Sami, son of Mutu. He's been sent to the hospital for treatment. Any witnesses? One. Mr. Tommy Tan. He's also the one who called for police assistance. Any suspects? No, sir. But an ATM card and a chopper were found at the scene. Thank you. Isaac. Canvas the area, check the pole cams, and see if there are any CCTV cameras that may have captured the attack. On it. Hi, Mr. Tan. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Mano from CID. Can you tell me what happened? Yes, I was walking towards a bus stop. There was this guy sitting there waiting for a bus. Then suddenly, five men appeared out of nowhere. One of them had a kitchen chopper, Another one had a stick, and there was also one who had a sword. Sorry, Mr. Tan, but did you say sword? Yes, it looked like a samurai sword. Then what happened? They attacked the poor guy at the bus stop. He tried to run away, but they chased him. They caught up with him, kept attacking him until he passed out. Then the attackers ran away. It all happened so fast. Mr. Tan, did you see the direction they went? Uh, that direction. Mr. Tan, can you describe them? I can try. Thank you for your time, Mr. Tan. Chiani, can you take down the descriptions? Yes, sir. Mr. Tan, can you remember what they were wearing? Any updates? The witness gave descriptions of the five suspects, mainly what they were wearing. He couldn't remember any distinguishing features, though. Sir, what about the ATM card at the scene? That ATM card belongs to the victim. There are no leads on the chopper found at the crime scene either. Is there anything on the pole cams? Oh yeah, take a look at this. These five individuals match the description that the witness gave. Looks like the witness was right. That's a samurai sword. And why they called a stick must be that baton. Seems like they had a weapons on hand. So there's a possibility that it could be a premeditated attack. They could also be secret society members. Charlie, check to see if any of our guys recognize them. They could be persons of interest in previous cases. Yes, sir. Is there a pole cam footage of their getaway? Yeah, found this. Pass. Charlie, find out who owns the car. These suspects are armed and dangerous and mean to get them off the streets as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Victim is out of surgery. Isaac, let's go. Mr. Sewasami, I am Senior Investigation Officer Manu from CID. Are you okay to talk about what happened? Hmm. The men who attacked you, do you know who they are? Yeah, 
I know all of them. Do you know why they attacked you? I got into an argument with one of them. Arjun. Last December, he said I threatened him, but I didn't. Then he got angry over my Instagram post. So he attacked you over an argument and some Instagram posts. Nothing else? I can't think of anything else. Okay. Before today, when was the last time you saw Arjun? I think... January? I happened to see him by chance at Amokyo Central. And what happened during that encounter? He confronted me. Then we got into a fight. I see. Mr. Sivasami, since you know all your attackers, I would need their names and contact details. I only know Arjun's contact number. But I can give you the names of all the attackers. The victim has identified one of the attackers as Arjun Renavelu. How does the victim know Arjun? In January, they had an argument which led to a fight. The victim believes that this is the reason for this attack. The victim also gave the names of the other four attackers. Arjun Renavelu, Victor Alexander, Dinesh Kumar and Harish. These four have priors for rioting and are well-known Secret Society's members. We have them all in our database, except this guy, Shavin Raj. Jolly, any update on the getaway car? It's a rental, rented by Selvi, daughter of Gopala. Who is she? She's Arjun's secondary school friend. And how is she involved in this attack? She's not. I verified that she was at work when it happened. Arjun borrowed her car this morning. And when did he return it? Earlier today. She got a text at about 4 p.m. to say that the car was at her car park in Ang Mo Kyo and that the car keys were on the car tire. Isaac, do you have the suspect's registered addresses? We checked, but they're all not at home. Send our guys down to do some ground inquiries. I'll also get them to check the suspect's favourite haunts. The suspects returned a rental car to Selby's car park at about 4 p.m. So the pole cams at her block or the surrounding blocks might be able to trace where they went after that. These five suspects attacked a victim at Serangoon Road in broad daylight. They were armed with various weapons and are known to be part of a secret society. Preliminary investigations show that after the attack, they took two private hire cars from a car park in Amokyo to Block 70, Loyang Road South. It is an office building in an industrial estate. We conducted surveillance there last night. Looks like five packets of food. Checks show that one of the units, 0402, is rented by one of Arjun's relatives. And we believe that all five suspects are hiding in that unit. Proceed with caution as the suspects are considered armed and dangerous. Yes, sir. Hi, yeah. Uh, lost again. Okay, guys, I go to the toilet first. Okay, we can be dealer.
I am Senior Investigation Officer Manu from CID and you're all under arrest for writing armed with deadly weapons. weapons. Arjun, tell me what happened yesterday. about you? Yeah. It's time for revenge. Harish, go and check if it's really Sivasami. Signal us if it's him. Let's confirm that it's me. Let's go. We found the chopper at the crime scene. But where are the samurai sword and baton? I wrapped it up in a black cloth and threw it away. Where? Lower Pierce Reservoir. Thank you. Sir, divers couldn't find anything in the reservoir. The sun was set in about two hours. They will have to stop the search for the day. I suspect Arjun is taking us on a wild goose chase. Call the car rental company, ask them to check the car's GPS. See where it went after the attack at Serangoon Road. Yes, sir. Arjun, we know you lied to us. You didn't throw the weapons at Lower Pierce Reservoir. Your rental car's last GPS location shows you at Block 624 Bishan at 3.30 p.m. Just before you return the car. So tell me, what were you doing at Block 624? Arjun, if you remain silent, I can always ask Victor or Harish or Dinesh. Hmm. I gave it to my friend, Madan. I need you to help me to keep this for a couple of days. Come back, Harry. Sure. That's the unit. Hi, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Manu. Are you Madan Raj, son of Kuna Sekhan? Yes. Do you know Arjun Ratna Velu? Yes. Did you meet him yesterday? Yes. Did he give you anything for safekeeping? He did. It's over there. Can we come in? Yeah, sure. Isaac, check on him. Madan Raj, can you please step outside? Madan Raj, you are under arrest for carrying offensive weapons in public places. Coffee. In the case you have just seen, over 50 officers were engaged in a manhunt by the suspects involved in a serious slashing attack using a chopper, baton, and samurai sword. 
the brazen attack in broad daylight lasted less than 30 seconds but left the victim with grievous injuries. Dedicated officers from the Secret Society's branch of the Criminal Investigation Department worked tirelessly around the clock to arrest the suspects within 24 hours. Rioting and unlawful assembly are serious offences. It is also an offence to be a member of an unlawful society. While the secret society situation in Singapore is under control, the police will continue to take stern action against members. If you are in a gang and find it hard to get out, or if you know someone or a family member in such a predicament, please contact the Secret Society's branch of the Criminal Investigation Department at 6435-0000 for help. If you witness anything suspicious or illegal, call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000 or call 999 for urgent police assistance. You can also submit information online via eyewitness at police.gov.sg forward slash eyewitness or through our police at SG application. All information will be kept strictly confidential. You might be on the alert for phishing scams from sellers. But did you know that phishing scams can also come from fake buyers on online marketplaces? Regrettably, John didn't. Dear, have you listed a bicycle yet? Please sell it quickly, okay? It's taking a lot of space. Yes, yes. I'm chatting with the buyer right now. Good, good. Hurry and sell it. But John didn't realise it was not the real bank website, but a spoofed website designed to steal his internet banking login details. He only realised it several days later. Hey John, what happened to the buyer? How come he hasn't collected your bicycle yet? I don't know. He paid me, but the delivery guy didn't come and collect. He didn't message me also. Paid you? How? Do you check a bank account? Okay, okay. I check right now. John realised he had been scammed when he discovered several unauthorised transactions made from his bank account. Since November 2022, over 352 victims have fallen prey to such phishing scams. These scammers would pose as fake buyers and the scams have resulted in losses amounting to $335,000 and higher. If you're selling on online marketplaces, protect yourself with these crime prevention tips. Verify the buyer's profile by checking the account's verification status, creation date, reviews and ratings. Avoid clicking on dubious URL links and always verify the URL links. If you're unsure, verify with the e-commerce platform directly. Never disclose your personal or internet banking details and OTP to anyone. Report suspicious activity to your bank and e-commerce platform immediately. Be wary of buyers who ask for an email address or phone number for payment. For additional protection, download the Scam Shield app on iOS or Android. It will help to filter scam calls and messages and prevent you from being the target of scams. Let's take active steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones and to be a scam-wise community. If you need advice, please call our anti-scam helpline at 1-800-722-6688 or go to www.scamalert.sg. We've come to the end of this season of Crime Watch. I'm DSP James Go. Until next time, do your part to prevent, deter, and detect crime. 